thing. Now, there are millions of fans, including my niece Angie, <laughs> know them as Alexis Davis, Yay! Olivia Falconeri, and Lulu Spencer. However, today they're here as friends, they're here as loved ones, and they're here definitely as fighters against cancer. I want to tell you that these very special women each have a virtual relay team and have been raising money for this Relay for Life. So please help me in giving a very rousing American Cancer Society Relay for Life welcome to Nancy Lee Gron, Lisa Los Cicero, and Julie Marie Berman. Too about this, but that speech really sort of choked me up a little bit. Uh, those statistics are just unbelievably heartwarming. Um, as she said, my name is Lisa Lo Cicero, and I'm so thrilled to be here today with all of you. Um, there's a lot of reasons that all of us are here, probably as many reasons as there are people standing out there, but I think like all of you, we would like to create a world where there's less cancer and more birthdays. Yeah? No? Nope. How about no cancer? Even better. How about no cancer? Um, I know, unfortunately, I think there's probably not a family in the whole wide world that hasn't been touched by this in some way. And in my family, there have been some tragedies of, of the losses of people way too early. But on the other hand, we have my mother, who is a two-time cancer survivor, Bobby LeCicero, diagnosed with malignant melanoma and breast cancer, both of which she fought and is completely cancer-free now. And, and that kind of stuff doesn't happen by magic. It happens because of events like this that raise awareness, that raise money, that make it possible to, to be screening and educating people so that they can fight this disease. And without these kinds of events, I wouldn't have a mother to talk and talk. I love her. Sorry. <laughs> so another reason that I'm here is that I'm also part of a, another big family that I'm really proud to be a part of, the ABC family, and more specifically, the General Hospital family, and in a lot of our... <laughs> A lot of our castmates uh, are not doctors, but they play them on TV, and, and, and we do a lot of storytelling there about um, big life and death, death issues that we get to leave at the door when, when we go home at the end of the day, but we know that that's not the case when you're in real hospital, that, that, um, you know, that those things don't leave you at the end of your workday. And, um, you know, we, we, all, we all want to help the American Cancer Society uh, save lives and make a difference, and we can only do that with all of your support and your good effort. American Cancer Society helps save people. It helps them stay well, it helps them get well, it helps find cures and fight back. So I just want to thank everyone again for being here on this gorgeous day. We're going to have a great time. We're going to fight cancer. We're going to remember the people that we love, and we're going to fight back. Started, I just want to make a couple of shout outs. Thank you to Helen Bernstein High School for allowing us to have the relay here at this beautiful location. I want to I want to make a big thank you to all the sponsors for all of their generous support. Uh, let's be sure to recognize our hardworking organization committee and all the great teams here and that are going to be showing up throughout the day. And most especially, the reason that we're all here today are the Survivors. Yes. Um, right? Survivors. And now uh, I'm going to hand it over to Mike, to another member of my General Hospital family, a woman that I, I hope will one day be my, my TV daughter-in-law, beautiful and talented, Julie Marie Berman. <laughs> 